Greetings, all you metamaniacs. This is Team NAG, and we have a super fun and exciting video for you uh, that shows how to take down, uh oh, the reworked Geo Notions. We have with us here today the orchestrator of this team, uh, Darth Camacho. That's a very cool name. I have to look and make sure I'm saying it right. From Shadowlands Guild. Welcome, Darth Camacho. Nice to be here. Or good to be here. Indeed, uh, super excited to have you walk us through this team. It is literally the most fun team that has ever existed in this game. Hands down, prove me wrong, people. Here we go. Okay, are you guys ready? We're gonna one, two, three, click on it at the same time so we can watch it together. And go. So so tell us a little bit about uh, your Jawas and the teams that you're facing. You actually sent um, this video around kind of this morning before the Geos got reworked and, uh, and showed the Jawas taking down the Geos. After the rework, you have uh, tweaked some stuff, done it again. Tell us first, what are the gear levels of your Jawas and what are the gear levels of these uh, Genotions that you're facing? Uh... When this morning when I did it, um, Java Engineer, Scavenger, and regular Java were all gear 11 with crappy mods, and I switched the mods around a little bit, and then I decided to take Chief Nebit up to gear 11. Dacha, or how do you say it, is still gear 10. No one knows how to say that word. <laughs> Just so <Yeah>. I know. <laughs> so I asked some of my shard mates from Arena if they could put in their geos just to test it out and then when i was getting success from it i asked some of the higher end players to put in their maxed out geos and um, some people had the double zeta one person i took out and this was after the rework was full gear 13 and i was still able to get it done whoa really but, i mean but, yeah. that's insane just up by himself all four just exploded <laughs> yeah so um, there's one unique that makes this all work and really everybody else is just kind of there for show. Tell us about uh, the, the ability that makes this all possible for the Jawas to put um, 20, 30, 40 thermal detonators on the bugs. It's Jawa Scavengers unique. It's lying in the sand. It's basically whenever a Jawa ally takes Damage, 50% chance to place a thermal detonator on the attacking enemy that will explode after two turns. Whenever a score is a critical hit, he gains stealth for three turns. So, I don't know if CG saw this coming. Um, it's one of those teams that, I know, I get this, like, fierce pride about our community, uh, you know, when something that is this... Uh, um, I don't know, lots of people have Jawas, maybe we don't read our kits enough, but how, like, how did you, did you think about this right away with the bugs, or, like, how did you, how, like, how, how did your brain figure this out, dude? Dude, it, it was completely by accident, going to be honest. I was trying to clear out a Newt-led Jawa team. It was Newt-led with Sunfag, Genos, and Spy or Soldier, I can't remember which. And I think Poggle and then a Zeta on Brood Alpha Unique. And I tried, failed, tried, failed. And I think it's like my sixth attempt. I'm like, hey, I'm just going to use my Jawas. They had three total mods on all five things. <laughs> Went in, won, and I'm like, how did that happen? So got on Discord, asked some of my guild mates, hey, why did this work? And then I asked some arena shards um, players last night and this today, and I'm like, oh, that's why. That's because the line in the sand. Well, I saw ability. in your video here real quickly, like when you were setting up, you had a, a squad with Barris, and somebody um, earlier on our stream suggested using Barris. I mean, do you find that Barris is helpful at all, or does just the five jaw is just the better the better go? When I took my Jawas in with Varys against the Gear 13 Geonosans, I got wrecked. I was not able to take out a single Geonosan or Varys. That's good. That's something I would have tried. So that's, that's, that's good that we nipped that right in the bud right away. So, <laughs> but, just, but that's also a fully Gear 13 
team as well. Yeah, I imagine we're going to see a lot of these Gear 13 Geonosians, especially from the players in these more TB-focused uh, guilds. And then you just dismantled one with a Gear 11 Nebit. Nebit seems to be kind of the key, just build him nice and tanky. Is that is that how you built him here? I mean, he, he withstood a lot of damage there at the very end. Yeah, I basically have protection primaries on all my Jawas and then whatever had the best um, protection and health, I just put them on the, it's just a hodgepodge of the mods on my Jawas right now. So they're not ideal at all. It's just whatever had protection primary, it went on my Jawas. Now is it, is a goal of yours to, to get Jawa Engineer to speed the team up so you take a turn or you just sit there and eat damage throughout the whole it's battle? Pretty, it's pretty much uh, with what I'm seeing, as long as Jawa Scavenger can last, and the more attacks the, G the Geos take, the more detonators are being placed. That's right. So it's his, his unique. So I was thinking just build the whole team tanky, but really you need yeah. Scavenger to survive and then probably Nebit to survive as well. Yeah. 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 I just have them um, all tank or health and protection. Uh, the arrows too? Yes. Do you guys want to click on that other video there the, that I just sent you and we'll watch that one together as well? Uh, sorry, the arrows are all protection. They're not all necessarily a health arrow, but they are a protection arrow. Protection, yes. Sorry, I can't remember what I said. Protection. This is the one with 23 views, Jawa versus right. Reward Jews, Alpha yeah. Lead. Yeah. Yeah, just let me know when. Okay, one, two, three, go. So you're very good and diligent about going over all of the stats, so that's very helpful. I think that certainly, you know, uh, this is a new team. It's a very interesting team. We talked about it on our stream tonight. It's uh, July 16th, so our July 16th stream, we talked a lot about the Gian Notions, if you guys are looking for some more information. And, uh, you know, this team is just dies at the hand of Treya, certainly. We did hear somebody timing out with Padme in this team, um, which you can imagine. There's just the, the kind of hive mechanics. It takes a while for them all to do their basics and come back. So uh, very, a lot of potential for timeout. And Padme's animations are so slow, too. So there's not a lot of teams that beat this right now. There might be a whole bunch of people putting mods on their Jawas tonight. Gom, are you putting mods on your Jawas tonight? Yeah, I mean, definitely Nebit. Nebit's going to get a nice little boost in terms of health and protection just as as an emergency team here. This is good stuff. Now, what would you say the percentage, like the win rate is of this, give or take? Uh, it's got to be a high 75%. It's pretty solid. Yeah, now, see here, you, you actually had a couple. Yeah, you had your characters go first. Yeah. Um, which is which is interesting because it's, it's going to be tough actually to to go before some of these slower builds so it doesn't seem to matter which is good how you build it i've seen it both ways now so oh, this is this is this is fun to watch it's very yeah, quick it's very quick what do got and this here? is good many many moons ago when the tank raid came out the, the dev developers kind of hinted that jawas and ugnaught would be needed for it that you know they have the boost but we we know now that they're still kind of irrelevant but you know a lot of players did kind of preemptively level up these characters so this so those of you that leveled up your jawas to gear 10 gear 11 you know two two and a half years ago this is you got a use for them now this is your day this is so. your day to shine i always was like you know when is cg gonna force us to gear our jawas and our clones and our tuscans and uh you know clones are coming Tuscans, who knows? And then, I don't know, maybe this is planned by them, maybe not, but uh, it's sure cool. Uh, so thank you very much. I think over the next little while, we're probably gonna be um, seeing if this team is gonna last, if you can protect from it from the, you know, with the Geonosians, or really if it's just gonna force the, the Geos onto offense if you run up against somebody who has gear 11 Jawas that have some mods on them. So look for that, this Grand Arena. Anything else you want to say? We did a shout out to Shadowlands, another one of that, uh, one of those great guild there. Uh, Darth Camacho? Uh, the only thing I got to say, I feel like the team really works because of all the assists. So the Geos are basically killing themselves. And if you have enough protection just to withstand the barrage of attacks, I think you're golden. Maybe even some crit crit avoidance arrows. What do you think of that, Good Maurice? 
could be could be yeah maybe maybe on a uh, scavenger himself for sure um because you know he doesn't have the highest protection pool especially at gear 10 11 so you know the protection arrow i think the crit avoidance may serve more useful than the protection itself so we'll see uh, I'm, I'm definitely gonna fool around with this <laughs> immediately so thanks again for for coming and hanging out with us man and telling us all about this team yeah no problem thank you awesome Thanks very much. And if you want more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you want to come and learn more um, with us about player versus player, uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes content, uh, you can join us on Patreon, join us in the Discord, or um, hey, get us to remod your roster and uh, make it all Grand Arena worthy. So thanks very much, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>